I mean, it's it constantly hurts my right foot. It's the cold that's doing it. It's just a constant block of ice, and it feels like I've got a golf ball in the arch of my foot. I think how, how, how much worse can it get? I had back pain yesterday as well for the first time. And I don't mean aching. I mean proper bloody pain, like bone on bone crunching pain. It's six degrees outside. I refuse to put my heating on in here. Uh, and I have got the windows open slightly to get some keep some circulation in here, so it's a bit, bit cold. I'm going to go back to bed, lie on the bed, edit this, because I'm still not right, and then I think I'm going to have some super noodles. Not just normal noodles, super noodles, because everybody knows that super is better. They're not red coloured, so they can't be that good, because everybody knows that red is better than everything. But I'm sort of focused again on my future. There was a part of me, especially yesterday morning, that was saying, is this really worth it? You know, but after having no sleep the night before, I wasn't thinking straight. But I'm thinking straight again, and, and now it's, it's worth it again. It really is. I've, I've got to get out of this shithole. And the sooner I can get over there and making videos and some good doing something that makes me smile and happy is making videos the sooner the better the sooner the better for my own mental health for the pains that i'm getting i've got to get get myself back on track again getting all this shit done i've got two months i've got eight weeks seven weeks seven weeks to sell everything and then i've got four weeks to decorate or if i do this all in four weeks then i've got eight weeks or seven weeks to decorate. When going back to 2002, I think it was, when uh, Chloe was taken away from me through no fault of my own, definitely no fault of my own. I spent 16 years in this place that it wasn't. It was never a home to me. It was just when my ex threw me out. This is where I lived, and because of her friends and her family. Everybody knew I lived here. I couldn't bear to get rid of the place. I couldn't bear to sell it. I couldn't bear to move out or anything. I've achieved my my goal after so many, nearly two decades of waiting for her to come into my life. In fact, it was over two decades ago now. I can move on now. I feel like I've, I've, I've achieved my personal lifelong goal is waiting for Chloe to come back. You know, and to clear my name because I know every member of the family thought that I was this heinous, horrible, bloody person because they saw the side of a woman who was so narcissistic and so clever in their words that they drove, they they drove, they drove my family away from me really for sixteen years. And now I know I've cleared my own name, call it selfish or whatever, I don't care, but I'd, it's now time for me to move on from here. And I've got the opportunity to do it. Single, no commitments, Chloe's moved. I've got my mum and dad, and I do feel, I feel so bad about leaving them. But how long do you wait? How long do you wait for the opportunity in your life to live your life how you want to live it. The money that I get out of um, like the flat sale and stuff like that is going to be my get out of jail, not free, but my get out of jail ticket. Um, but I'm determined to put that money back. So when I'm over there, I, I, I don't know where my next meal's coming from. Actually, quite literally, I don't know where my next meal's coming from. It could be a restaurant, it could be a street seller, it could be absolutely bloody anywhere. Um, I've been talking to uh, my mate Jeff throughout all this and he said to me have you looked at blah 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 videos because you can actually rent a house in the middle of I'm saying the middle of nowhere but out of all the main population of the city and everywhere like that and you can actually get somewhere for about £65 a month I'm questioning myself if it's the right thing to do I'm scared stupid am i doing the right thing can i afford it i don't care if i can't afford it i'm doing it am i doing the right thing i don't care i don't care because it's an adventure in life and these are the adventures that i've never done 
I've never been really out of the country apart from a couple of weeks on holiday and they haven't been really much of an uh, an adventure because I've been tied with kids and God knows what with me. Not with Chloe because I missed all her life. This isn't going to be a, a case of, yeah, been there, done that, tried it, never never won. Oh, I'm going to win. I, I don't ever want to come back to this cold, dark, depressing, miserable weather, pain every single day. And I know that, that there's, a, there's a cure for it. And I've had a lot of people, there's so many, so many internet um, professionals out there, it's unreal. But uh, this, this bloke emailed me and he said, um, you've got a lump in your back, it's the big C, you need to go and get it sorted or you'll be sorry. I'm sorry, but how how is that helping anything? I know I'm fine. I'm I'm fittish. Well, I'm saying that I struggled getting back up the stairs earlier, really badly actually. And that's another thing is being unfit, because I can't go outside because it's cold. If I go outside and I get cold, the pain gets worse. What's the point of going out in the first bloody place? My mental sort of. Um, attitude has, has leveled off it's not it's not all over the place as it used to be some days good some days bad some days very good some days very bad it seems to be leveling off again there so i think this is this is the leveling off period and i can see further into the future rather than what's going to happen tomorrow i'm looking at things that are going to happen in the next six months the things that i've done in the past are, uh, that, like that. This is this is just humongous. It's the biggest thing I have ever done. It's so scary, but so I feel so rewarded by the things that I've already achieved by getting rid of all this stuff that I used to hoard. I suppose I've broken free. I've broken out of this bloody mold, and I'm determined to make something of my life. It's not going to be for for, for fame or or money. It's not going to be for any any reason. It's not going to be for greed or anything like that. But I've got two two aims really: is to keep myself healthy and try and make other people have a healthy mind and teach people that. You can do anything that you want to in life, and I think living here, I've come to the end of the point, the end of the line now that I can't, I can't do anything in here that I wanted to achieve anymore. I'm trying to build carbon fibre stuff, and I, this isn't the place to do it. Setting fire to stuff, this isn't the place to do it. Blowing stuff up, this isn't the place to do it. Building steam boilers, this is definitely not the place to do it. But I was trying to achieve these things in, in the hopes that I can just progress and things don't become sort of a mundane day in, day out thing because and I, I don't want repetition in life anymore. I want, I want every day to feel different um, because otherwise What's going on here? Well, I kind of click my fingers because otherwise life's completely gone.